San Fernando Valley man says he has been asking the city for months to get his cul-de-sac a new street sign. Well, fed up with the slow process, he contacted two on your side for help. And CBS 2's investigator Christine Lazar shows us now what happened. <laughs> well, you know, on Tuesday we had that investigation into the trash truck and the city dragging its feet on the investigation. Mm -hmm. Now yes. we're talking about the city again. I swear I'm not picking on them, huh? but I do get a lot of complaints. Now, sure, most everyone uses GPS these days, but some people do still rely on street signs. And one street in Valley Village, that sign has been missing for nearly a year. So is that what you say to people all the time? Like, my street's the street without the without sign? Without the sign, actually, I do, yes. <laughs> Russell Todd can joke about the fact that his cul-de-sac in Valley Village doesn't have a street sign, but he says it really isn't a laughing matter. If there was an emergency here and someone had to call 911 and you're coming off this street off Magnolia, and this street comes up immediately beyond cold water that you might pass it, you might miss it. Last fall, a car accident took out the pole that held the street sign for the 5200 block of Goodland Avenue. You can see what it looked like here in this Google image from February of 2017. A few weeks after the street sign was gone, Russell called 311 and he says he was told it would be taken care of. Weeks passed, so he called again. And then he started putting in service requests on LADOT's website. To date, he has put in eight of those requests, and nearly a year later, still no street sign. How many times do you have to ask and not get one response to get a street sign? Russell even contacted his councilman's office and talked to a field deputy. Then she says some of these things can take two to three years, is what the city tells her. So I so said, you're kidding me. Russell says he knows the city gets a lot of requests for service, but as a taxpayer. Well, I think it's crazy. I think it's unacceptable that it should take 10 months, perhaps a year by the time it's done to replace a street sign. Two on your side reached out to LADOT, and we were told that Russell will have his street sign in the next couple of weeks. We did ask LADOT if this was a typical wait time for a service request, and we did not get a response. They did say they give priority to service requests that pose a safety hazard. It, it, well, it is a safety hazard. If you call, if you call 911, you want that ambulance to come to your house. I want the street sign there and I want the address on the curb. Well, I think we all feel like we pay a lot in taxes and that area of town, of course, has, you know, expensive homes and lots of property taxes. So people feel like, you know, we're paying this money. I'd like service, my the... street sign yeah, up yeah. and how hard is it to put a street sign up? So a couple of weeks, we'll get that street sign just before uh, the fall where it will be the one year mark. So I'm sure you'll go back and see. We'll have yes. a camera there yes. yep. just to make sure. <laughs> All right. We'll meet you there, City of LA. <laughs> All right, can Two On Your Side help you? Email Two On Your Side at CBS.com. Tell us about your problem. You can also tweet us. Make sure you use the hashtag Two On Your Side. Christine will see what she can do to help you out.